right, on this episode of DIY Nate, we are putting on some training wheels on a bike. I uh, ordered these off Amazon, about 15 bucks or so. Um, I've already attached uh, the wheel. You can see how I've got it set up here. Um, I actually had to use a vise to hold uh, this little this, uh, this bolt uh, from this side, and then I tightened from this side. If I had two ratchets, I could have done that as well, or a pair of pliers. Uh, but I tightened from this side, and then got the wheel so it nicely uh, spins nicely. Uh, for now, so now I'm just going to take the little bike that I've got, put these training wheels on it, show you how that's done. My children have worn this bike pretty well out. Uh, we actually destroyed one of the training wheels, and then I had to come back and repair it with duct tape. Uh, this thing is just beat up to all get out, so I'm going to take this old training wheel off and put these new ones on. Um, the first step we're going to do, we're going to put this uh, nut right here. I'm going to take that off, then we're going to put the uh, metal pieces. I'll show you what those look like. These pieces right here are going to go um, over uh, the, the bracket there, uh, and then the training wheel will go over top of that, and then we'll put the bolt back up on side of there. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, it'll take just a few minutes to get okay, that done. So now we're going to take the training wheel off this bike. I'm using a, this tool is called a dog bone, but it's essentially a ratchet um, that just has a rotating head. So we're going to find the right size. In this case, I uh, found it on the first try. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to say that maybe I didn't find it quite well enough uh, this thing's on here pretty good so I'm gonna have to take it off once I've got it loose a little bit you see the, the bolt comes right off maybe there we go I'm gonna pull this guy all the way off and the pieces come out so, so one part's done and this one had the uh, the same bracket bracket faces the inside and lashes over top of the uh, the existing uh, the bolt structure there so uh, for this next piece we're just going to take this guy and hopefully this one and we're going to stick this on here and hopefully we can put that and end up in there so we're going to take the or the, uh, the bolt nut and the washer as well and then we're going to take a measurement and figure out how the right size is here so now we're going to take this this uh, piece right here, and we're gonna layer this right on top of the bike there, and then we're gonna put the training wheel on, and we're gonna go to the third level, since that seems like about the height. I want my kids to have a little bit of play in there, so they have to use the training wheel. I might need to go up to the fourth, actually. Fourth looks like about right. We'll start with the fourth. If I need to change it, I will in the future. And so we're just gonna put back on there. Hopefully everything will run smoothly. Now, we're going to tighten it down with the dog bone. So now we're going to test that first wheel, make sure that's the right setting, and see how it looks. And then we'll put the second wheel on. So you can see right here, that works pretty well. It gives a little bit of play too, so my kids will have to learn how to ride a bike a little bit. So this time, we might not even have to take the whole thing off. I'm going to try and do this from right So this time, we're able to take it just off on this way, just standing upright. And the same thing we're going to do. Take the nut off. That comes off pretty easily once you got it down, once you've done this once. And grab the other metal bolt. Remember the bracket, the little uh, piece here, the metal piece? You want that facing the front, at least based on what I've seen, uh, so that that lines up in that groove and it won't go anywhere after you. So now we're going to put this next one on here, the three mark. Link three is what we need, but let me double check. Looks like we actually used four. So then I'm gonna put this uh, next uh, washer on over top. Screw this guy on as well. Make sure the train wheel lines up nicely over the little bracket there. It's all coming together, not too bad. Hand tighten. We'll follow it with this approach. Everything should come together pretty nicely. And we're in good shape there. Metal's all tight. Okay. And we'll try the other side, make sure we're still on tight there. A bit more tight than we go. And now our bike is good to go. It's got a little bit of play in it, which is good because I need my daughter to be able to wobble back and forth a little bit so she'll learn how to ride a bike. Outside of that, we're ready to roll on our new training or bicycle training wheels. So feel really good that 
that project is done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave comments, only if they're nice, and have a great day.